Welcome back to Separation of Power with Jennifer and Lizzie. Today's guests are I'm Alina Upright and I've been dancing for 13 years. I'm Malia Palavis and I've been dancing for 16 years. And today I'm getting absolutely mocked while we interview them about the dance team. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the dance team was like a new thing. So like, what was you guys' reaction to the formation of it and everything? Um, I think last year it was new for everyone and at first I think people were just getting used to it because it's a club too and but I feel like this year we had like a lot more fans and more people were receptive to it. Um, at the beginning of when we started it of last year a lot of alumni from the school were very excited because they were always interested in the dance team and it was never available so it's a nice opportunity to have now. Were any of them like kind of jealous that they didn't get to participate in it while they were still in school? I don't think so. I think that like anyone who wanted to do it like tried out. So I feel like it was like pretty like fair. Yeah, I just think they were excited like new things were happening. How was the team as a whole when it first began? Like like technique and like team morale? So last year I think everyone like thought like dance team like oh like I have to like be at a dance studio type thing. So everyone like their last year had like some dance like background as like this year we like kind of like recruited the basketball <laughs> team because we had lost so many seniors. So um, this year, I think everyone picked up super well though. So it was, I think this year was a little bit more fun since like, you know, some people didn't dance. So like we didn't take it like, you know, as hard on ourselves and like mm -hmm. serious. So it was like more fun. Yeah, last year we had many experienced dancers mm -hmm. and this year like we had some new ones but I think that just made it so much more fun mm -hmm. because like we got to teach everyone what we knew and our, we recruited our friends to do it yeah. and it was just <laughs> really fun. That's actually cute. That's like what I would think of for like a school dance yeah, team. Yeah. To be honest. Should I say we joined dance team? <laughs> <laughs> dance team. Okay, so like compared to last year, like what is different and what is the same now? So I think last year, like I said, like there was a lot of girls, everyone danced at a dance studio. So last year we had a jazz like dance. So, you know, it's more technical, more turns, more jumps and everything. And then this year we had recruited like a lot of our friends from the basketball team. So we did like a hip hop dance and it was really fun because you don't need like ballet training to do hip hop. So like we all just like had fun and it was like a learning curve even for us because like, you know, we don't do much hip hop. So but like we all had fun with it and like like I said these girls don't dance so like some of them so it was really fun yeah last year was like a better um technical technically <laughs> yeah <laughs> technical wise <laughs> but um this year it was just like smooth sailing and like fun and just like like a free for all, not like a free for all but like it was just something new to all of us because most some of us haven't even like danced with unexperienced dancers before because where we dance right now most of us have been doing it since such a young age so it was kind of fun to see like how like people are when they first get into it so would you say that made this year better i think this year was very fun like we we laughed all the oh, time yeah. it yes. was so it was so funny like and last year we had a, a jazz dance with, which is like more like turns jumps leaps just like melina said but this year we kind of got to like to try something new because we haven't done much hip hop in the past, so okay. it was even new to us. Yeah. Um, you mentioned how it's like a new team now, right? Mm -hmm. How did you overcome the seniors leaving for that? So beforehand, we didn't know if we were even gonna have a team because we had lost so many seniors. Um, so we were like kind of like in panic mode for a second so that's when we just kind of started reaching out to people when we were like listen like you don't have to have any dance background this is a school dance team like we'll help you we'll figure it out like and i think that that made everyone kind of relax and was like oh i don't have to have like dance training or be at a dance studio i think that was a big thing everyone thought like dance team correlated with a dance studio which i mean it does but it doesn't have to so it it was a good thing in the end yeah this year the tryouts were much different because last year we um, really spent a lot of time on seeing what you could do turn wise, leap wise, jump wise, like if you could count the music well. But this year it was just like basic dance moves and then just like a 30 second combo that a lot of the girls worked on. Um, and it was it was more simple this year because we knew that not many kids were like experienced with dance. but. 
Well, I saw some of your guys' dances. I thought they were like a lot more fun this year. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I really thought the hip hop dance was good because, like, you know, like I said, you don't have to have like technique mm -hmm. for that, and like you just have to like kind of let loose. And like I feel like everyone did that, and we had we had a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. I think it was also like a crowd like entertainer yes, because like you dance, could tell yes. that we were having fun and mm -hmm. that we were just like trying our best and having fun dancing with our friends. So for senior year, what are you guys' plans for dance? <sighs> okay, so I, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say this. Um, we can it out if yeah, you okay. Yeah. So we are trying to go to nationals next year. And at our dance team competition we had this year, we um, will compete more than one dance. And then um, we're also going to do um, a camp in the summer to be able to go to nationals. That's our plan for now. <laughs> yeah. So, like, if that happened, would like the whole dance team go to nationals? I think we would all go down for sure. Um, we would definitely all go down. I don't know if we would compete both of our dances or just one of them, and some people might not be in one and some maybe in the other. Like, I'm not sure. And this is in Florida? Yes, yes. in Orlando. Oh, I think I'm gonna write this question down. What did you guys, like, what were your accomplishments this year? Like, you went to regionals, right? Or sections? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Dance regionals, yes. And we like her. Yes. And we got third. We got third. Abby Miller. Yeah, Abby Lee was the second to lose. Well, I think yeah. I saw it on Instagram, right? And I thought it was really good. Yeah, no, thanks. I thought it was good too. I don't know what happened. It's okay. We put in a lot of we put in a lot of extra practice to <laughs> to get it to look the way it did, like but like yeah. another part of me is like these girls like that we were against like you could tell like you know just from watching them warm up like they all dance like they're yeah. we're watching in the hallways because like yeah. it, I mean we were in Lily Park so like we're like behind their like little like auditorium type thing and I was like you could like you could just tell yeah. that they could all dance so I'm like listen yeah. like we got we got half the weird high basketball team. <laughs> we, got the <laughs> we got the volleyball team we got the volleyball team and the basketball soccer team soccer. like we were we were creating yeah. all around and we got third so I was very pleased I think yeah that's an yeah honestly, yes. 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 yes yes yeah are there oh I just re I just realized that this is the dancing style. Yes. Yeah, we're in the upcoming events. No. So sorry about Just that. trial to May. Yeah, so trial to May. in May. Even if so you don't dance, yes. you can try out. Yes. It's fun. <laughs> it is fun. And then we'll learn our dances in the summer, so don't worry about not knowing like choreography or picking it up. Like we'll do it all summer. And it's not gonna be like super strict, mm -hmm. like, you know, maybe once a week or type thing just to go over everything. And it's like a fun environment and like Sometimes we go out to eat after and get ice cream, so it's like fun. Yeah, and we may be doing more like football games this year because last year we were late learning our dances because we didn't know if we were going to have a team. But um, we should be doing more football game stuff, more pep rallies yeah. and like sidelines, but that's all up to like it all depends on like what the girls are comfortable doing with on the team. Mm -hmm. So how do you guys train for your events? Um, we will like we'll be in the theater, or we'll go to the studio. I'm also not sure if we'll see that. We'll go to the studio and <laughs> we'll practice in front of the mirror, and then we'll practice in front of the mirror, and we'll see like what we're doing differently than the other girls, and then we'll also um, do three at a time. So we'll do the dance. The, it, we split every like all the girls up, and like it's not just like the dance girls and like the girls that doesn't have, don't have m as much experience. It's just kind of randomized. Like wherever you're standing, like she'll do one, two, three, go, and then those three girls will do it, and we'll watch them. But it's mainly to like figure out what we're doing wrong, not what they're doing wrong. It's to see like, oh, I'm not doing that the same mm -hmm. as that girl. Mm -hmm. So then we'll all do it three at a time. And then that also makes us want to try harder because we're doing it in front of our peers. So then when we put it back together, like it looks it that always much better. Looks mm -hmm. 10 times better after yeah. that. Um, and you guys both grew up at Casey's, right? Yes. Um, do you guys think that that was a good environment to shape you to be the dancers you are today? Yeah, for sure, 100%. I do because I think it's taught me a lot about like your um, like classmates or like your family mm -hmm. and like you guys just like just grow this like bond and like it's there forever. That's so sweet. <laughs>
I remember my dad loves your jackets. He was oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah. In middle school, he was like, "You have to join." <laughs> <laughs> I always see these girls in the CST. Yes. Oh yeah, our moms they love to rhinestone them when we get new ones. So like, they'll rhinestone like all the letters and yeah. everything, like our names mm-hmm. and everything. So like in middle school, like it was, we thought it was, so, we were so cool when we you came to. <laughs> uh, we came to school, <laughs> we with, came like, to school with, with our bling the T-shirts. The week of like calm, like we, you know, oh, yeah. you're coming. And yes. Our CST On Friday. Or, Fridays. Fridays. Competitions usually Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We'll come to school all blinged out, like with our hair bows. We thought we were it. Yeah. <laughs> the it <laughs> girls. <laughs> we were not. We were not. <laughs> no. Um, I don't think you guys realize how cool like we thought you were. Are you serious? Yes. Thank you. No way. <laughs> I took one hip hop class in middle school because I like wanted to be like you. Yeah. Know? Oh my gosh. But it was at Hillary's. Oh. Um, it's okay. okay. That's all right. That's our dance neighbor. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Do you guys feel like you guys have like dance mom moms? We've had some moments. We've had some, we've had our dance mom moments. Yeah. I will sometimes, say. I mean, most of the times it's smooth sailing, but you know, sometimes we have those little moments, you know. That I'm like, wow, this should have been recorded. No, it's okay. so funny. Yeah, like I'll be like at a competition. I'm like, dang, like if we had a show, like it'd be good. <laughs> what do they fight about? Oh, oh my gosh. I don't even Wait, know. they, they each don't. Other? No, they don't fight. But that's actually one thing that's never no, happened. They like, never fought yeah, with each other. No, it's, it's like, like the moms and the girls. Like as we've gotten older, like obviously, like we developed an attitude. Mm-hmm. And then it's usually like the girls. It's usually moms. the girls and yeah. the moms. Yeah. Yeah, and like you just kind of like sit there and watch. Like um, last competition, I forgot part of what cost you. Um, so <laughs> my mom was cutting our gloves. Yeah. So like, her mom took like gloves and like made like a, like them for An me. Extra pair. Um, and my oh. mom like me and my mom got in this huge fight, and then she looked at me and she was like, "I'd save yourself from speaking." And I was like, <laughs> "No, yeah." Okay. She grabbed my mom and so heard that Stacy was mad at Melina. She got her gloves. My mom was like, "Hold on, Stacy. Like I can do it." Like. So we got my gloves, and we also got our friend Bella's gloves, and then we cut them all in half, mm-hmm. and, and then we made gloves. an extra pair of gloves. Yeah. So now we all have smaller gloves, but like a little friendship bond. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of Indo's Waltz. They're like, you're being a rat. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's basically what my mom said to me. It's us. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh. How is the dance team similar and different to the atmosphere at Casey Sisters? Like, the, is the learning style the same? Is like the, the learning style? style is the same because we actually have the same choreographer we have for our jazz dances at our studio come in to do the hip hop. So we're all pretty familiar with her, and she's super sweet, and it's so much fun. And it's a little different only because like we haven't been all dancing together forever. Because at our studio, like all of us have been dancing together for like years. But like this year, like I've never danced with some of these people, and that's like what's like a lot of fun about it. Yeah, I agree with like what Malia said. Like when we're at Casey's, you know, we've all danced with each other for so long that sometimes it's easier, you know, to like clean a dance or learn a dance just because like we feed off of each other and things like that. But this year, it was a little like challenge when we were all learning it because like you know, like girls that have a lot of experience were e- like able to pick up the hip hop dance easier than girls that didn't but like that makes sense so, but like I don't know other than that I feel like they're pretty similar yeah. that's fair um, how long did you say you were dancing for? 13 years 16 so like how much do you think you guys improved over the years? <gasps> oh my gosh I was so <laughs> bad till I was like 10 yeah I agree with that. I was like, I'll watch like back videos and I'm like, what was I doing? I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> so for dance, like, what are you guys' plans after high school? Are they dance related or do you plan to just have it be like a high school thing? I plan to just, I'm very thankful for all my experiences that dance has brought me, but I think I'm just going to like move on, but it'll always be a part of me. Yeah, I, I also agree. Um, like, I always think of dance as, like, my extracurricular activity, and, like, I do take it serious, but, like, I definitely, like, don't want to continue it after. I always, it shaped me to be the person I am today, but I definitely 
just will leave it in my past for sure. What about like a college dance team? Are you guys going to college? Would you consider doing that? Oh, um, maybe. Honestly, I would consider I would do doing like a club one. Yeah, club that one. isn't as like strict. Demanding. Like, and I have to be there like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Like, if it was like maybe once a week, I would think about doing it because. When I go to college, I, I think I'm gonna really want to focus on like my academics and then see what goes on from there. Well, I know colleges have like beginner, medium, and like advanced classes. Mm -hmm. so, like you could probably take that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, do you guys have any like pet peeves about like typical dance things or anything? Oh. Um. If this is for like regular dance, like um, competitive dance at Case Scissors. When I like go to competitions and I see like girls in like intermediate that like are better dancers than me and I'm I'm typically entered mm -hmm. in the advanced category. I'm like, what are you doing in intermediate? Like you're so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I agree with that. You know, I'll see them backstage and like they're like doing like eight turns and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, like, <laughs> I can't do that. And I'm like, okay, yeah, and <laughs> yeah. So I just like convince myself that like I'm gonna beat that person. Like, okay. I know I'm not, but like you have to like do that or like you're gonna, gonna get in your head and then you're mm -hmm. not gonna perform. Mm -hmm. well. mm -hmm. Sure, you just have to basically be like, I'm better than her, but like you know you're not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How are those levels like determined? Do you just, is it just based on what you consider yourself? Um, some competitions determine, most competitions determine it off your skill level. So if you're doing like four turns and you're an intermediate, like no, they're, you they need to be they typically advanced. stomp you off. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. like if you're doing like side aerials, like, and like perfect dances and beginner, like they're gonna bump you up. So you guys are both clearly very talented at dance. <laughs> so as my notes say, how well do you guys eat up TikTok? <laughs> that was my writing. Sorry. Don't let her take my joke. That was my <laughs> Lizzie. Written by Lizzie. Um, I'm. I look like I've never had a dance class in my life. <laughs> <laughs> dance. I don't I like, look so uncoordinated and you're just like, what is this girl doing? Because that's what I think of when I watch back the video. <laughs> I thought I was doing good, but then I was like, no. Sometimes after dance, like, <laughs> one of our friends will like be like, oh, we have to make this. And I'm like, oh, gosh. <laughs> okay. But, yeah. What's your guys' favorite dance move? <sighs> to me, probably any jump. Because I'm very flexible and I can't turn to save my life. So. <laughs> well, I'm probably like an aerial or like a tumble trick. What would you do if I got on my knees and beg you to perform it? <laughs> <laughs> um, if I wasn't wearing jeans, I would say for sure. <laughs> I I'd probably do it. Yeah, why not? I'd do it. Will you right now? Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> I don't yeah, want to rip my all jeans, but I would. Yeah, there is a lot of space. Yeah, no, she wait, showed wait, it the aerial. Yeah, we're going to come in on Jennifer. Okay. Oh, I'll just sit here and Should support you. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Wait, That's so I can good. I can actually give you a film of me trying to do an aerial. If you want oh to my it. gosh! Okay, Please. no, I will. It's, it's so really good. Funny. I fall. Oh my gosh. Or do you want my back handspring on my head? I want, I want both. Both. You want both? We want. Both. Okay. Let's do a clap on Mike. Oh my god, Melina. Okay, guys. So, we've said a little something about dance balls. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that's an accurate representation of growing up in dance? Oh, yes and no. <laughs> like, um, I don't even know. So, learning the dances, like, in a quick amount of time, like, I see that being, like, realistic. You know, the girls get upset with themselves. The moms and the daughters fight. The moms and the dance teachers fight. You know, that happens. Yeah. Um, the only thing is, we went to two competitions against them <laughs> uh, before. Yes, did you beat them? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're not allowed well, to like, talk. We're not allowed to like, talk to them, but like, uh, yeah, I, I don't even know. But like, yeah, I don't know. But basically, they dance twice. So oh, what you yeah. see on the show doesn't actually happen. Like, let's say someone's hat falls or they forget their dance. You don't actually know what happened because they do it one time and that their first time is their adjudication and then their second time for the show. So like when someone like drops their hat or something and Abby comes in and like makes a big deal about it, like yeah. that didn't actually happen. Like that wasn't, I mean it happened, but it's not getting adjudicated. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think it's yes and no. Like I think it's some, some similarities. I, <laughs> my mom is also my dance teacher. So <laughs> oh. um, <laughs> I will get yelled at by the dance teacher more than my friends will, but. <laughs> 
It's a lot of love. Do you think you're a better dancer because she's your dance teacher? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait. Like, better than the other girls who are, like, no, no, better no, no, than no, like, no, oh, I thought you meant better than the other girls. I was like, no. Like, do you think she made you a better dancer? Oh, yeah, I do. When I was younger, um, we used to move the couches in the living room and then she'd make me practice my little tap solo. And I do. She's put a lot of time and effort mm -hmm. into it and cleaning my dances. Like, she does my solos, my jazz solo as well. And she puts a lot of effort into it. I'll give her a hard time sometimes, but it's a lot do of love. Do people hate you because you're the daughter? Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> I hope I not. Her a lot, you know? I hope not. Weird. I don't know. Just kidding. Hopefully not. I don't think so. If they do, I guess we'll never know. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> So, oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Who is you guys' favorite mom and kid? You don't have to be the mom and kid to go okay. together. Hmm. I will talk about some shit on some dance mom and talk. Yeah, <laughs> me too. too. Dude, I me love too. Christy. I, I thought it, she was so funny. She, her and Kelly together, dynamic mm -hmm. duo, so funny. Yeah. And I feel like they just keep it real and they're yeah. honest. Mm -hmm. And um, they don't like suck up to Abby. I don't yeah. know if I can say that one here, but yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Um and I think that they're just very real with their kids too. Like, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes they do great when they dance, sometimes they don't do good. They'll be like, eh, that was alright, like type yeah. thing. Um favorite dancer? Oh, I'd say Chloe. I feel like she was yeah, so underrated. So good, yeah. And it was always about Maddie, but like what about Chloe? You know, what about Chloe? What about Chloe? I guess we'll never know. Yeah. <laughs> I think my favorite dance moms were Christy and Holly. I think Christy was just hilarious. Holly. And I I thought I, I did I really liked her. I thought she was hard on Chloe, but like not too hard on Chloe. And then I also liked Holly because she held me accountable. Like mm -hmm. when she That's forgot right. her solo the one time in the dressing room, her mom was oh. like, "No, you did not forget it. Like, get that out of your head." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Very I think wise. that's I think that's what you need to hear when you're like in as a kid in that situation. And then I think my favorite dancer, it, it was probably Mackenzie. Like I always loved her. I thought I loved her because she was always the littlest one. And she's always the younger one, and like I like when I think of dancing as a young age, I think of dancing with my sister and my cousin, and I was always the young one. Mm -hmm. And then I also have an older sister that grew up with me and dance, so I think I can relate to her a lot too. That's a good answer. That is a good answer. <laughs> Honestly, I've never thought of like actually relating to it, like because you guys can actually. Yeah, we it. can. Yeah. Well, like I just my thing is I just don't like Holly because she. Okay, this is so mean. Oh. She <laughs> acts like Nia isn't the worst dancer. Yeah, because like yeah. we all know she is, right, guys? I think right. the show made her look a lot worse than she actually was. I've seen her legs. I mean, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a <laughs> dancer. <laughs> but I know, I know, I've done cheer. Like I know yeah. what straight right. legs look like. Yeah, yeah. And I just feel bad for her because like they would always be. She, Dad would always be like, Nia, point your toes, like straighten mm -hmm. your legs. <laughs> like she just <laughs> wouldn't do it. She just chose not to. Let's be honest. She said no. She was. <laughs> I love Jill until season six. <gasps> I, I know that's controversial, it is but it's just like not that I like. I'm like, oh, I want to be like, I want to be like her, like a like, mom, like her. Yeah. yeah, I just think she is so funny. She is funny, mm -hmm. like her delusion. Yeah, <laughs> delusion <laughs> <is funny. laughs> yeah, yeah. Like her delusions, honey, get a grip. I loved yeah. her voice in the early season. She's oh like, yeah, my <laughs> Kendall, Kendall K. Oh my gosh! Oh. I thought it was funny. Me and Lizzie, like when she was like on the first day. Oh. I didn't think she'd be at the bottom. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, she you know what? Big things. We're on probation. She's like we're on probation. <laughs> and they were like, get in line, sister. Oh, get Jill. Line, get line. Oh, Jill. God bless. Speaking of dance moms, I say we take a little quiz. Okay. okay. I guess this is just like a thing I'm doing now. Okay. Because last time we took BuzzFeed quizzes. Okay. okay. Perfect. Yeah. So we're gonna do what dance mom are you based on the dance routine that you plan? Okay. Okay. You have to so pick, like you have to separate. Pick the same. No. No. You guys like decide together. Okay. Okay. What are we doing? Jazz. Jazz. Yeah. Oh, you scroll. Oh, I'm gonna scroop it. It's okay. Oh. Answers are included. This over. You wanna just do. What do you want to do? Like, I feel like our small group's like four to nine. Four to nine, yeah, that's good. Oh, oh, whoa. oh no, twenty plus. Props? That's... Oh, we don't do props. We don't do props. Props are scary. Thanks. No thanks. <laughs> what are you thinking for costume? I say you go bad ignorant. <laughs> okay, we'll do that. Okay, we'll do. Oh, that. actually, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Sure. Yeah, who cares? Do you want? Oh wait, this is this. we. Our dance studio really like simple and style, but boring rhinestones. rhinestones. We're big on rhinestones. I have a question, actually. Yeah. What? Okay, this is me. What's with the suit in every single number? Man, they're like super trendy. They, they are. are. We. Have, yeah, I have like a couple of them. Oh I think gosh. they're so cute. They are cute. I they think are cute, like, but like, very let's find yeah. something it's else now. Yes, when we yeah. started, a couple years. when did we start? We started the suits in 2019. In 2019, because That's we had like a, a we had like a dance, and it like sat like you, based off your dance is what your costume looks like. Based mm -hmm. off the song and the theme is what your costume is gonna look like. And I forget, we were dancing to I think a Michael, was, Jackson. A Michael Jackson, and it so was like, like a suit and a hat. Like, uh -huh. That's perfect. That's perfect for Michael Jackson. <laughs> and it ended up becoming this like big trend like a mm. year or two later, and it's still a huge yes. trend. Yes. So, so that's like, that's now true. we have like a black one, we have multicolored yes. ones, we have a pink, a blue, we, like, we have a lot. We also like to rewear costumes whenever possible, because costumes are expensive. Mm -hmm. And, and still, them? yes. But out of your own pocket. Yes. yes. Oh my God. And not. not our dance team uniform that was mm -hmm. paid for yes. because we did um we are clubs, so like we yeah. have to fundraise and things like that so from our fundraisers we paid for all the uniforms so nothing mm -hmm. came out of our pockets but, like dance studio yeah like costumes are like 150 to 300 yeah, yeah. it's yeah. crazy yeah. that's why we try to rewear as much yeah. as possible until like we don't fit in them and we're like yeah <laughs> like the other day me and my mom were standing my um Jazzilla costume, and we were destoning one of the suits, actually my red suit, oh. and we sat there and picked all the stones off, mm -hmm. and then placed them on my other one because stones are expensive. Yeah, and we, like, we have to use the real ones. We wait, use the what? We yeah, use the like real, real stones. Like, so what's like, it? The Sorosky. 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 We use the Sorosky yeah. stones. Okay. Yes. Because so they, 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 they look in the light. They look better in the light. The they light. listen in the light, and the mm -hmm. fake ones don't. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's what we were told. Like, picking them off of like my three year old like solo costume, oh, like picking them off because like like sorry, um, yikes. Um, yeah. But okay. Oh goodness. You won your first overall. How are you celebrating? Probably going out to get like food. Yes, we always we do love that. to eat. We're, we do. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my gosh! No! Watch <laughs> it! This is not real. Oh no! Oh my god, that concludes this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you.